Hey guys, this is a Jaeger task guide for the Tarkov Shooter Part 1. For this task, you have to eliminate 5 scavs from over 40 meters away while using a bolt-action sniper rifle with iron sights. So for this task, you are going to have to use a bolt-action sniper rifle, and there are 7 different main versions of bolt actions for you to choose from in Tarkov. And of those 7 versions, you also have a few variations within themselves that will give you the opportunity to adapt to whichever task that you're working on or build that you're going for at that time. And so the main versions that you can select from are going to be the VPO215, the Mosin, the SV-98, the T-5000, the DVL-10, the M-700, and also the big boy Lapua. So for this task, you do need to use an iron sight bolt action sniper rifle, which means no scope whatsoever on your weapon. This basically means that the DVL, the M700 and the T5000 are all going to be unusable for this particular task since there is no front or rear iron sights on these weapons. So that means that your remaining options are going to be a Mosin, a VPO215 or an SV98 and whichever one that you have in your stash or have access to would be totally fine for you to use for this task. Personally, I tend to use a Mosin for majority of my Tarkov shooter tasks, especially the early ones, but if you are strapped for cash, then the VPO is definitely a cheap alternative, which you can buy from level 1 Jaeger for around 18,000 rubles or from the flea market for roughly the same price. And in terms of ammo for the VPO, then you could use the FMJ, which is available at level 1 Jaeger and sells for 45 rubles a bullet, or even the Gexa Ram, which is sold at level 2 Jaeger for 60 rubles a pop, and both of these options will theoretically one-shot a non-armored scav or PMC, but the issue with both of these rounds is that it does get a little sketchy once you start running into geared players, since the effectiveness will start to drop off, so just keep in mind that you may need to land multiple shots depending on what armor class your opponents are using. So I ended up doing this task on customs and also woods because I did have other tasks that I was working on at the time and basically I would work away at this task passively as I would try to get into a 40 plus meter position and to eliminate any scavs that I ran into while doing those other tasks as long as it was possible. And just remember that because I did this task on those two maps, you guys definitely don't have to do the same thing that I did. You can work away at it on any other map that you want to or that you are comfortable on. Most people do find that this task is difficult, especially when you are first starting out and also around the beginning of the wipe because of how busy that customs can be in the first month or so. And also by running a bolt action sniper, then it definitely makes the game more challenging to learn. And also it makes it more difficult to engage in PvP or even AI scavs considering that you are running around with an iron sight bolt action sniper, which obviously is not the most ideal weapon in any situation especially if you're new to Tarkov and also the mechanics. And speaking of mechanics one thing that I will mention is that I have had a lot of people say that they were unaware that the left alt button is the default to hold your breath while also aiming down sights which will stabilize your weapon for a more accurate shot. If you aren't doing that then definitely try implementing that into your mechanics. Now while doing this task if you do run into players the best thing that you can do is to aim for the head however I know that that's a lot easier said than done but if you do happen to have the advantage where they don't end up seeing you and you think that you can land two shots before they realize where you are then you can just aim to thorax them instead but in doing so it is a good idea to always assume that you will need at least two shots to eliminate someone with your bolt action especially if you hit them center mass just due to the 54R caliber not having a single bullet that can one shot even a naked PMC to the thorax after they ended up increasing the thorax health to 85. And then obviously the downside of the 366 caliber besides the APM is what we've already talked about being the decreased effectiveness to any player wearing any decent armor. But if you do find yourself in a fight where they are returning fire and also pushing you very aggressively, your best bet will basically be the all or nothing aim for the head and hopefully desync doesn't throw a wrench into your raid and do you dirty. So hopefully you guys found this guide useful and it does help to make you some progress and also complete this task. If you are still here at the end of the video, I definitely appreciate you and I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is just a couple of my different social links in case you guys wanted to connect more easily. I am primarily streaming on Twitch now multiple nights a week. So if you do want to connect with me or my community, that would probably be the easiest way to do so. And if you do come over to the Twitch and you want to join the Discord community, then just type exclamation point Discord or Cord in the chat in order to get an invite link. And if you don't use Twitch, then I do have a link in the picture as well as a link below in the description. And we are growing and currently have an active and welcoming community with people of all experience and skill levels. So there will always be someone who could help to answer any questions that you may have. As always, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video, and I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day.